We're in the Northwest Territories now, and as one would expect, it is really, really cold here. So somebody came up to us and asked if we would like to come meet their sled dogs. <laughs> Why not? When in Rome, go meet some sled dogs. This is the land that the city gives to dog mushers to house their sled dogs. There's a, probably about 250 dogs in total, but we have 25 and 10 puppies. They're the, a unique part of Yellowknife that does make it an exciting place to live. When I was little, I would, I would sleep with, in the dog houses. I would climb in there and it's so warm and so cozy and they have like a nice bed of straw to sleep on that we would all just sleep together. <laughs> it, it, it goes deep. Um, my, my dad um, was born um, on the south shore of Great Slave Lake and um, the whole Northwest Territories dog driving was really important because up until um, in the Northwest Territories about 1970, there was no other means of transportation in the winter. Everybody had a, a meat-based or land-based diet and so you couldn't harvest very much animals if you can't travel very far. Part of what we feed them is this fat, basically. One of the dog mushers in town, he goes to the grocery stores and he collects the fat that the butchers cut off of the meat, grinds it all up and sells it to all the mushers. They don't look like what people think is huskies when they, when people say, oh, these are your sled dogs? They're bred with uh, German and uh, English short-haired uh, pointers. Hi, who is this? His name is Cruz. He's probably the biggest dog in my life. You mean him? In what position is he? He's a wheeler. He's a wheel dog. That's the dog at the very back. There are in other communities of uh, uh, people that do have sled dogs as well, and then they'll come together and race. We use them just to get, get out on the land. So all you hear is just the sound of the, the skis of the sled on the snow, and then the dogs, their pads of their feet. It's just beautiful. Just to have that connection with, with an animal is really powerful. <laughs> 